right, the first chord shape, I take my index finger and I bar it across the fifth fret, kind of like with the side of my finger here. You know, so I roll it kind of pressured. And I want to cover, if you can, cover the um, one, two, three, four strings. One, two, three, four. Even if they're not all being played. And then my ring finger, is, it's got a bend to it, and it's going to be on the seventh fret of the D string. So it should sound like this when you just play it. And that's an A minor. So then from there, and we'll work on the little picking part in a second. So that's the first chord. This is barred and only the seventh fret of the D string. Then the ring finger comes off, middle finger goes to the sixth fret of the D string, and then I prefer my pinky to go to the seventh fret of the high E, but if you can do it with your ring finger, that's cool as well. So we got the first shape, the middle finger comes down and either your ring finger on the seventh or your pinky. The reason I say pinky is because the next chord you just can slide it up. All right, so the first chord, then middle finger goes down and we're gonna put a note on the high E right there. Or ring finger. Then pinky, and that last one's up to you, pinky is gonna go up to the eighth fret of the high E while this is still barred. So, so far the first three chords all have the index finger barred on the fifth fret. We got So if you're a beginner and you're trying to master the song, the next chord could just be a regular D chord if you want. But the, the most correct way is to actually have the uh, fourth fret on the D string with the D chord. So you can, you can do it a few different ways. You can play a D chord and get your pinky onto the fourth fret. Um, beginner way, you can just do a regular D chord. It's still going to sound almost identical. But you can get your pinky there. What I do is I bar across, just like I did right here, but down here, like that, and then I get my middle finger onto the third fret of the second string, the B string, and then my ring finger on the fourth fret of the D string. Just like that. So that's that next shape. So, so far we've got And if these are all new chords, I would recommend practicing the chord shapes a little bit first before you get overwhelmed with, with that thing, all right? So then the next thing we have is we're going to do an F major 7 chord. Like that. And then that little, the last little dun 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 is really just a G major chord to an A minor chord. One on G, two on A minor. 